Is Justin Bieber a believer? He's been recently criticized for leading worship at Coachella. And schnizzle my finizzle and schneezes my Jesus. Apparently Snoop Dogg has released a gospel album, Jason. Oh, wow. All that and more on this week's What, what Does, Does This Mean? mean? All right, Coachella Music Festival this past week has uh, Justin Bieber decided to take the stage and lead a few music, uh, lead some worship going on at one of the tents at uh, Coachella. Um, but he's been criticized heavily on social media for not being a good enough Christian to be doing such a thing. Um, can you elaborate on what that yeah. would mean? Well, what does this mean, Jason, a good uh, enough Christian? Yeah, because I, is he a sinner? Yes. Are we sinners? Of course. But evidently he's taken some flack because of some of his bad boy behavior in the past, and so people are questioning, is his faith real? Is he serious? Has he been a Christian long enough to, to lead worship? But I know, what is long enough? I don't. I have no idea. Being a Christian in general just means being someone that's a sinner who needs Jesus. That's what I thought. But whatever. Anyways, the other story we wanted to talk about is how did you introduce that? Schnizzle my finizzle and schnizzes my Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, funny funny enough, Snoop Dogg has released a gospel album called The Bible of Love. Uh, can you tell the everyone Bible about The Bible of Love. Yeah, The Bible of Love. <laughs> tell people what that well, means. Well, evidently, it's a, it's a double album. So I think there's 36 tracks on this long album. Uh, it's not just Snoop Dogg. So there's some other gospel mm -hmm. artists, some uh, rap artists. and But, you know, like Justin Bieber, Snoop Dogg has taken some uh, flack for his bad boy behavior in the past. And he's tried out different religions in the past as well. So people are questioning, is his faith real? Is he a really a follower of Jesus or is this just his latest stunt? So, okay. Well, in his interview, I um, people were asked like, is this really you and are you just doing this for publicity and things like that? And my favorite line that he said in the interview was like, the devil's a liar. And I thought the church was supposed to welcome sinners. And if you're someone like me, I'm just trying to find my way back home. Um, that's such a cool idea to think of coming home. Isn't that what we all are trying to do? That's yeah, why Jesus yeah. came. He came to reach the lost. It's pretty cool. Right. So. Yeah, I really like that, that he wants to find his way back home because we're all children of God. And that's really what God wants us to do is to all come home to him. And uh, and I think it's just wonderful if this is a real uh a conversion for Snoop Dogg, you know, all the more power to him. And I think especially if he can use his particular talents, the gifts that mm -hmm. God has evidently given yeah. him uh, to reach a certain audience, you know, the people that listen to rap music and to, to hip hop, if, if he can uh, share Jesus with them, uh, if Jesus can use Snoop Dogg, as he uses all sinners to to uh, as a means to to reach other sinners, I think that's great. And the same with Justin Bieber too. That you know Jesus can use his gifts uh, to reach a particular audience and and draw people to him. So yeah, I think that ties in really well with your sermon this past week uh, about Jesus is a God of touch and. Uh, just like we are able to use our circles and influence to touch people in the name of Jesus, I hope these two artists are able to do the same thing. Yeah, and I can't help but think of the comparison to St. Paul, mm -hmm. you know, who went from one minute, he was persecuting Christians, throwing them into jail and, and even putting some to death, uh, and then he is suddenly converted and becomes a follower of Jesus, and people question whether his faith was real too. So, uh, you know, God uses sinners. And Absolutely. He eats and drinks with sinners, Every time we, we come to the Lord's Supper. So. Absolutely. Lord's Supper, remembering our baptism every week. God has to use sinners because that's what this world's full of, and that's what he's going to use to touch the world that he's in. Uh, anyways, that's what we have for this week, With and what does this mean? So uh, please join us next week. But uh, before we leave, uh, Pastor wants to end all of these with a pastoral joke of the week. <laughs> the, the, the dumb uh, pastor joke the pastor of the week. Joke. Yeah, so let's see what he's got going on this week. Well, Jason, why do skunks like to go to church? Uh, why do skunks like to go to church? I don't know, Pastor. Because of all the pews. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> That was bad. I that know. Was that bad. was a pew. In that, itself. That, that's it's, proof that God uses sinners because yeah, that was right. a bad joke. Anyways. And you know, I can see myself in your head. Oh, so that's beautiful. Just... All right. Anyways, that's what we got for this week, and hopefully you can see yourself too. Uh, <laughs> thanks, and we'll see you guys bye -bye. real soon. Thanks. We'll see ya. Bye. <laughs> I think that one was pretty good. I think it too. I'm going to see how our framing worked. Okay.